This tutorial will show you how to use the Seagate Business Storage NAS web interface to join a domain and import a user from the domain's Active Directory list. To begin, log into the Business Storage NAS web interface as an administrator. Once the home page launches, click on the Networks menu item to navigate to the Networks page. The first step is to add the Active Directory IP address to the list of DNS servers on your local area network. To continue, click on the Edit button. When the drop-down menu displays, select Edit. To add the Active Directory IP address to the list of DNS servers, first click on the plus sign to the right of the entry scroll bar. Enter the IP address for the Active Directory domain server in the spaces provided. Then click on the Save button. The IP address will be added to the DNS server list. Click the Save button to continue. Your changes will be saved and you will be notified that the operation was successful. The next step is to join the domain. To continue, click on the General Menu item. After the page displays, click on and select Domain from the Workgroup Domain section of the page. This action will launch a Domain Configuration pop-up text entry box. When the Domain Configuration box displays, you will need to enter the required information in the spaces provided. You will need to enter the fully qualified domain name for the server you are joining. You will also need to provide the domain administrator login and password. Typically, a domain administrator would belong to a group of domain admins, enterprise admins, or an administrator group as determined by site or group policy. This information should be obtainable from the administrator of the domain you are joining. You may also enter the server name and IP address for the domain if you wish. After providing the required information, click on the Save button. You will be notified that the domain configuration was successful and you are now joined to the domain. Next, we will import a user from the domain's Active Directory list. To continue, click on the User Menu item. After the User page displays, click on the Import from Domain button. The Import a User from Domain pop-up box displays. Enter the name of the user you want to import. As you enter the name, the Domain Import box will expand. Select the user, then click the Import button. The new user will be imported. The next step is to grant read and write permissions to the imported user. To continue, click on Shares. Once on the Shares page, select the folder for which you want to grant the user permissions and click next to the number of users for the folder. A list of users for the folder will display. The new ADS username will not be included in the list. To add the name to the list, first click on the Edit button. Clicking the Edit button will launch the Users and Groups Permissions page. First, select the user from the Users list. Then, click on the Add button for the permissions you want to grant the user. You may grant both Read and Write access or Read-only access. When you have finished, click on the Close button. These are all the steps required to use the Seagate Business Storage NAS web interface to join a domain and import a user from the domain's Active Directory list. For more information on the product and its features, please see the rest of the Seagate Business Storage rack mount tutorials.